Hi there, Bill here again. Today I want to talk about how you go about cutting and splitting firewood when you don't have any gasoline. Splitting the firewood certainly you can do with an axe. I've done that a lot. But that's a lot of work. There's got to be an easier way. But what do you do about cutting the firewood if you don't have gasoline for your chainsaw? You can't really use an axe or a hatchet because that would take forever and then the piece of wood that you cut wouldn't have a straight end on it. It would be, have a point on it which would make it very, very difficult to, uh, to be able to split. I thought about this for quite a while and I tried to figure out what to do about it. There are a variety of different kinds of saws that you can buy that are used for camping or backpacking to cut firewood. But most of those are small and they're only made for making a few cuts to put a few pieces of wood on the fire. <clears throat> if you're going to try to cut a couple of cords of wood, those really don't work. So I really fretted about this for a while and couldn't figure out what to do. And then my wife and I were out on a camping trip and she dragged me into a, an antique store. And all of a sudden right there on the, on the wall of the antique store I found my, my solution. And it's a saw. It's an antique saw. I'm sure you've seen these before. It's got a handle on one end and a handle on the other end. It takes two people to use it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew right away that was the solution. It had a price tag on it and I couldn't see it because it was hanging up on the wall. And uh, <clears throat> so I told the guy I was interested in it and he got a little ladder and got up there and got it down and showed it to me. The price tag was $54. So I saw it and I said, $54, huh? And I was about ready to pull out my wallet. But before he could even, before I could even say anything more, he said, yeah, but I can do better than that. And he went over and uh, looked at some numbers in one of his little books and he came back and he said, I can do it for $32. The guy haggled with himself. I didn't even have to do it. So I got this really cool saw for $32. So come on and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are out in the middle of the woods and we're going to demonstrate this saw for you. I got my helper here. This is my son-in-law, Michael. Hi there. And he's going to help and we'll show you how this saw works. It's pretty cool. So there we have the log, nice and smooth on both sides, just like a chainsaw, so it'll be easy to split. So, Mr. Michael, tell me, if you had to cut wood and you didn't have any gasoline for your chainsaw, do you think it would be possible to cut a full cord of wood using this saw? In a world where people are used to chainsaws, this might seem like a lot of work, but when you don't have gas or a chainsaw, there's a much better way to done than trying to chew through it with your teeth. Well, there you have it, the truth about cutting wood without a chainsaw. I'm Bill Keller reporting from deep in the woods somewhere in greater northeast. And now this. So that's how you cut the firewood, and then the next problem is splitting it. Like I said earlier, of course, you can always use an axe. I've done that a lot in the past, but it's an awful lot of work. My uh, son found a gas-powered log splitter at a garage sale. He found it got a really good deal on it. I helped him use it a couple of times to split wood and I was just really jealous. It was really nice. So much easier. And then I realized that if you have no gasoline you can't use 
a gas powered log splitter. So what I found was actually it's still a hydraulic log splitter but it's a manual hydraulic log splitter and it works really well. It's not as fast as a gas powered one but it's considerably easier and a lot faster than using an axe. And I'll show you now the manual log splitter. So here is a manual log splitter. As you can see it's a hydraulic jack like you would put under a car sitting on its side. It's a 10 ton hydraulic jack and it has two handles and the wedge up at the other end and you lay the log right in here like this. This is the piece of log that we cut out in the woods a few minutes ago. Now this is only about maybe five inches across. The directions when I got this log splitter said that you can split logs up to six inches but I've put logs on here that were a foot or more and I had no trouble with it at all. The two handles you just pump them like this. Now one of them, this one I believe, is high speed. It moves it a lot. Doesn't have as much power. This one is slow speed. Doesn't move it as much but it has a lot more power. So what you do then is you just work both handles and you can see that it's moving the hydraulic jack out. If you hit the log and it's really hard to split, then you use just the, the, the low gear one like this to start splitting it until it starts to split. So as we continue to pump, see the log starting to split. Like I said, it's not as fast as the gas powered one, but it's considerably faster and considerably easier than using an axe. There you have it. Nice and easy. No sweat. I didn't even break a sweat. So there you have it. I've now cut and split firewood without any sweat and without any gasoline. As far as where you find that uh, the, a saw like the one I've got, I, I really don't know where, what to tell you because I stumbled onto it in an antique shop. Search online for it maybe, look at antique shops, look around. They are around, you just, and they can be hard to find, but they are there. Just start looking for them. As far as the, uh, the log splitter, just do a search online for manual hydraulic log splitter and you'll find dozens of places that sell them. Uh, I think this was about $150 I think, I don't remember, it's been a couple years now. But uh, they're out there, just uh, go ahead and do the search and, and good luck finding what you need and splitting your firewood. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please like the video down below and, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Ready? Sure. <laughs> so, Mr. Michael, tell me, if you were out of gasoline and you had to cut wood and you had to do it without a chainsaw, do you think it would be possible to cut a full cord of wood using this saw? For a world where people are used to chainsaws and cell phones and other things like that, it would seem like a lot of work. <laughs> Let's Sorry try that one that. again. <laughs> Where's this on the outtakes and bloopers reel? <laughs> Shush.